By the year 2050, this planet is going to have something in the order of 9 billion people here. That's a lot of people to feed. We're talking about at least a doubling, if not a tripling, of the world's total food and fiber demand over the next 40 years. We already use one-third of the world's land surface area to grow food. Scientists and others continue working hard to develop the technologies we will need to feed the entire world's population by 2050 and beyond. The need to acquire technology to be able to increase food production is absolutely essential. The choices really aren't to plow up more land and plant more crops, it's to grow more food on less land. It isn't a matter of diverting more water to create more food, it's using water more efficiently. We need every tool in the toolbox and a whole lot that we're, we're still developing to successfully meet the human needs of the 21st century in a responsible manner. If we go back to the methods of the past, the recipe is going to destroy Mother Nature and wildlife. The future of the world hinges on human invention and innovation. But what many people may not realize is that these engines of change have already revolutionized agriculture over the last 50 years, and they're continuing to pull us forward into an era of even more sustainable and efficient food production. It's a great time to be in agriculture. It's really exciting, some of the changes that are happening now. We're not only uh, agronomists, we're also scientists, we're also business managers. We're working with technology. I mean, look at the changes that have been made in, in my generation alone. Can you only imagine the changes that will be made in the next 50 or 60 years? The transition in agriculture over the last 50, 60 years has been extraordinary. The use of atrazine boosts U.S. corn output by 600 million bushels a year. Combined with drought-resistant crops and improved seed varieties, these technologies are leading to a dramatic increase in the productivity of agriculture. Technology must play an essential role in terms of providing efficient way to produce food. The capability of this technology is limitless. Well, when I started farming, typical yield in those days was probably 80 to 100 bushels. Those yields have easily doubled. And I think that's a miraculous thing that agriculture has accomplished. We now use precision guidance to steer the combine, planter, and the sprayer. Uh, it's able to put the inputs that we need on each square foot. Well, I grew up in the 60s, and I remember so clearly the topic then was how the world was going to run out of food. And I feel very proud that we've been able to supply the world with food and have a population that's twice what it was when I was growing up. Between 1960 and the year 2000, farmers nearly doubled global food output, and they did it while adding less than 5% new land to agricultural production. For more than 50 years, atrazine's impact on modern farming has already had huge conservation benefits. Agronomists estimate that atrazine's efficiency has saved up to a million acres of green space in the U.S. alone. And around the world, modern farming techniques have protected as much as 6,800,000 square miles of land from cultivation. That's equivalent to three Amazon rainforests. You know, we, we're, we're hearing that we got to double our production by 2050. And I think, it's, I think it's possible. I mean, if things are getting, they're not getting easier, but with the help of the research that's out there, we're able to find ways to produce more and be more efficient doing it. It's up to us to get that done. I think agriculture has a lot to offer to the world. And um, I feel like you can really make a difference, not only in your local community, but I mean, if you think about it, you're producing a crop that feeds the world. I and mean, there's, what more of a, a impact can, can there be than that? I don't think anyone can question the ability of the world now to produce enough food to feed, feed the population. And I feel in a small way that uh, I'm part of that and I feel confident that we can continue in the future to feed the world. Agriculture is a vital part of the U.S. economy and the use of atrazine boosts economic growth by as much as $9 billion a year and supports up to 85,000 American jobs. Modern agriculture will continue to lead the way in innovation, 
conservation and sustainability. Syngenta is a big part of helping farmers grow more food in a sustainable way, in a safe way, with less land and less water. It comes down to feeding the world and utilizing the technology that we have today. We can do this in a way that conserves the environment.